36 hours in Taipei, Taiwan. I'm Chris. I'm Tiffy. And today we're going to be showing you what you can do on a weekend trip to Taipei, Taiwan. From Taoyuan International Airport, the best way to get to the city center is to take a taxi. It takes between 45 and 90 minutes and runs between 1200 to 1500 New Taiwan dollars, about 40 to 50 US dollars. If you're flying in from the US, chances are you'll be checking to your hotel at just about dinner time. One of the best ways to dive right into Taipei culture is to visit one of Taipei's many night markets. I usually stay at K Hotel in Yonghe, so I always stop by Le Hua Night Market. Taipei is home to a ton of night markets, and whatever hotel you're staying at, there's bound to be a night market nearby. Just ask at the front desk where the closest one is. Your first morning in Taipei, wake up 8 a.m., get on the metro, the red line, to the Ching Hai Shek Memorial Hall Station. Here you can check out the National Theater, the Chiang Hai Shek Memorial that way, and then the National Concert Hall over on the left. In front of the Chiang Hai Shek Memorial Hall is a big open area. It's a popular place for locals to come on weekends, holidays, and if it was a sunny day, you might even see people here flying kites. The Chiang Hai Shek Memorial Hall is a rather large building behind me there. It's a uh, memorial to Chiang Hai Shek. It looks similar to the Lincoln Memorial, except instead of Lincoln on the throne, it's Chiang Hai Shek on the throne. Try to come right at 9 o'clock to see the changing of the guards. If you miss that one, it also happens every other hour on the hour until 6 p.m. After Chiang Hai Shek Memorial Hall, we're going to get a an early lunch. We're going to take the MRT Red Line one stop to Dungmen Station, just one stop away from Chiang Hai Shek Memorial Hall, and we're going to go eat at Din Tai Fung, Taiwan's most famous restaurant, famous for their soup dumplings. As you can see, they're going to be a long wait at times. That's why you get here early. If the wait's too long, there's plenty of other restaurants around, but if you've got the time, make sure to try some of these tasty soup dumplings. If you're more in the mood for some traditional Taiwanese noodles, you can visit Du Xiao Ye. It's just right around the corner from Din Tai Fung if the wait's too long. Long. The number one thing to get here is their bowl of noodles, minced pork, and garlic. Before you eat it, make sure to mix it up, nice and mixed. So this is traditional Taiwanese style, the way they make these noodles. They make them the way they did in 1895. You can see right by the front window, they're still making them traditional style. Okay, well now that we've finished those noodles, it's time to get some dessert. Where, where do we get some good dessert? Maybe some shave ice. Look at that. There's a shave ice place right here. For dessert, stop by Smoothie House. They have three locations right around Din Tai Fung and the noodle place. Actually, it's right next to the noodle place. Their specialty is the three flavor shave ice with mango, strawberry, and kiwi. On a hot day, it's particularly refreshing. And if you'd like a souvenir to bring back home, they have magnets that are the shave ice magnets. So you can remember your bowl of shave ice forever. Once you're done with your shave ice, spend some time exploring the narrow alleys and the streets around here. There's lots of restaurants, shops, and lots of interesting things to see. It's a sunny day. You can ride a bike around here and go for a bike ride. Actually, if you can hold an umbrella and ride a bike at the same time, you can do that on a rainy day, too. Once you're done wandering around this neighborhood, next up we're going to hit up Taipei 101, which is just down the street that way, one of the world's tallest buildings. Also, if you're coming to Taipei, make sure you bring an umbrella, because it rains here almost all the time. It can go from sunny to rainy in the course of an hour. To get to Taipei 101, take the MRT Red Line to the Taipei 101 stop. Who needs a tour guide or a tour bus when you have the Taipei MRT? Clean, bright, friendly, and convenient. As you get out of the MRT, you'll see, guess what, Din Tai Fung there on the right. And if you look up, you'll see, guess what, a really tall building. When Taipei 101 was built, it was the world's tallest building. As you enter into Taipei 101 from the MRT entrance, you'll be greeted by one of Taipei's largest food courts. In addition to the food court, Taipei 101 also has a really neat five-story shopping mall. Though the shops here are all pretty high-end, so make sure you bring your no-limit credit card. For more information on Taipei 101, including views from the top floor observatory, you'll find a link to my Taipei 101 video at the end of this video. After visiting Taipei 101, it should be just about time for dinner. And a good place to find dinner is in the neighborhood of Shimen, Taipei's equivalent of Harajuku, a hot spot for youth culture. If you're one of those people who likes to start your morning with a morning hike on your first morning or your last morning, if you have time before your flight, hike on up Elephant Mountain for some wonderful views of Taipei 101. Thanks for watching. Click on the flag to subscribe or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Plus. Links are in the description, or you might be interested in watching one of these other videos. Click either one to watch.